Okay, guys, so I'm going to do a little bit of tactics training for my own, and I almost did a live for you to be able to join me, but I, it's a little bit late, so I figured let me just record it that way you can do it anytime you like, okay? So basically, I just have a few exercises to work on. The first one, I already did it, but I have like four or five more to do after. So basically what I do is I give myself like five minutes. If I show you here, you're going to see there's a timer. So I give myself five. You could give yourself 10, 15. It doesn't matter. And I calculate. I try to find the answer. When the time is up, if I didn't find it, well, I look at the answer. I have the book right here with me. And by that time, I already practice visualization, calculation. And when I look at the answer, well, I learned a pattern or idea that prevented me from finding the right answer. So this first one, I already did it. And guys, all of the exercises have to do with punishing or taking advantage of your opponent's lack of coordination. Like the white pieces, notice how the rooks are connected. The queen is defending almost every piece. Black pieces, they're not even castled. Rooks are not connected. Bishop is not developed. Knight is not so active and so on, right? So this one, the first thing that I looked at was the things that I'm attacking. I'm attacking the bishop, the pawn, and of course, rook c8 would be devastating, but there's a defender. And we know at this point, if there's a defender, we got to think of deflection, eliminating the defender, interference, and things like that. So queen a7, it looks counterintuitive because we're giving up the queen, but we, have, we cannot ignore it, guys. So queen a7, rook takes, rook c8, they have to block with the queen, I take, followed by knight f7 with a fork now we have to of course be able to visualize this far and we have had so many lessons on it and then we count the material after all of this am i actually up but also there's one thing that we talked about recently which is when you calculate one of these forcing variations when everything settles try to calculate one more move right so check check or capture 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 and then it's like we drop the mic. Well, right there, push yourself to calculate one more move. And you're going to see it's going to make it's going to make a difference. So, guys, now you know what this exercise is going to be about. Let me go to the next one. And here, this is going to be actually, wait, uh, this is going to be black pieces to move. And of course, feel free to pause the video if you need more time or skip ahead if you find it way faster than me. OK, so let me reset the timer and I will see you in five minutes. Now guys, two things. Um, number one, even when you think you found it, like in this case, I gave myself five minutes. So if I see that I find it before that time is up, I want to use the remaining time to double check, do it all over, make sure that there are no surprises, okay? And one thing, the other thing that I didn't mention is that whenever I'm doing these exercises, first thing that I like to do is to count the material, make sure that I get to understand what's going on in the game, okay? So if the, if the material is even, uh, I, it could be about just winning some material, maybe a couple of pawns, maybe a piece, if let's say I'm down a queen, probably has to do with checkmating the king or, or something more, uh, something bigger. So anyhow, we have like 30 seconds left. I'm going to use that time to do it all over in my head. But I think I found, I think I found the answer. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right. So for some reason, it already, it already. Uh, change so timer reset probably i had something there let me actually pause here and guys basically here we have a few candidate moves and this is where candidate moves come in right so i have knight f1 is a move that seems really good but when you find a good move try to look for a better one don't forget that we have knight c4 and of course we have queen b7 now queen b7 is very attractive because then after the king moves we're going to have checkmate on g2 so queen b7 king g1 mate now the only the critical line is after queen b7 what if rook f3 well here i see that i have knight takes e4 d takes e4 and then i have ideas with pawn e4 hitting that rook when the rook leaves if it goes back well i have a discovered check and i'm attacking the queen right now if after e4 the rook goes to e3 getting in the way 
I could do either rook c3 or bishop c3. So let's say bishop c3, queen. Well, I'm going to take it with a rook. Taking with the pawn, don't forget my queen is now on b7. So I'm able to get the hanging rook. And then finally, after e4, rook e3, bishop c3. If the rook goes to c3, then I could do also e3, discover check, and I get the queen. So that's what I calculated. Maybe I'm wrong. And let me just take a look now at the book. Or I could, let me see if I can activate here the engine let me actually go here and if i activate the engine there we go queen b7 is a move rook f3 knight c4 d takes c4 Oof, but this way <laughs> okay so queen b7 um rook f3 knight takes c4 i'm up a piece if they don't take well i'm up a piece already and then here i had calculated e4 but it seems to be that rook c3 is actually the move and then if rook c3 of course this is pinned don't forget the rook is pinned as well they have to take with the queen if they want the piece back then we got e4 hitting the, the rook hitting the queen now what's wrong with pawn to e4 first and look <laughs> immediately uh, pawn e4 is wrong because it's gonna be uh equal so rook e3 now bishop oh okay okay so if bishop c3 they could just take back and I was so happy with this discovered check, but it doesn't work, guys, because the piece that I'm attacking could be used to block the check. So that's what I missed, you see? So that's that's why we have to double check and make sure that we're not missing any details. And this is exactly what I missed. So going back one last time, queen b7, if they go to g1, that would be mate. If rook f3, we have to do knight c4, d takes c4, rook c3, only move to get the piece back is with the queen then e4 we're hitting the queen and we're hitting the rook try to do it in your head i'm going to do it one last time here whoops sorry not that one um there we go e4 and now best move that they give is something like queen b4 but then we trade and we're gonna be rook and, and bishop versus rook so there you go guys we gotta do better for the next uh, exercise let me kill here the evaluation and let me actually show you the next position so this one white pieces to move and as you can see this was uh topalov playing against the the legendary boris gelfin so white to move let me restart the timer and see you in five minutes All right, guys, so for this one, uh, we have one of few seconds left. Um, I didn't want to use all of my time because this is a tricky one since there are so many, let me actually post this, since there are so many candidate moves or at least candidate moves that seem good, right? So we have 95. I know that the main patterns that come to mind are discover attack on the queen. Of course, we're hitting F7. We're pinning this pawn. And then we got 95, 95, 94. Anything that has to do with this discover attack is going to be a, a candidate move, right? Now, I started off with knight f5, but, and of course, going to f8, I'm just going to take on h6, then I take on f7. That's going to be already better for white. But if queen f6, queen g5, I was not so sure what to do. Um, knight d5 also came to mind, but also uh, it, it doesn't really, sh it, does, it didn't seem like it was going to offer much for the white pieces. And then by process of elimination, I ended up with knight g4. Now, knight g4, they don't have queen f6, so good. If queen f8, the same thing, knight h6, because the pawn is pinned. But then, if knight g4, queen g5, I started to calculate h4. And I'm like, okay, if they take the bishop, excellent. I like this tactic. That's going to be a fork, because don't forget that the queen is pinning that pawn, right? But after knight g4, queen g5, h4, the queen could go to d2. So that... It took me a, a while. I thought, okay, just because of this, this is not going to be the move. But then, only then, I realized I had pawn f4 instead of pawn h4. And that way, the queen cannot come this way. The queen cannot stay here. And taking the bishop, I have the same, the same thing. So let me just um, go ahead and do the same thing. Full screen. And 
So there you go. Knight g4 is a move, but then here they're giving queen f8 as the best move for the black pieces. That way they don't lose so much material. If queen g5, then we got, yeah, pawn f4. Notice that h4 would be slightly better for white, but not as good as pawn f4. And now best thing they could do is take on g4 or take on h5, which is the fork. We get that queen. So there you go, guys. Let me go to the next one. Okay, and so we got this one and one more. So take your time. This one is actually black to move. And as you can see, we have NVL playing this as black. So this has to be a good one. And okay, let me restart. See you in five minutes. All right, guys, so uh, look, this one, I think I found it. I didn't need the, the five minutes, but still I might be missing something. So I'm going to double check, but um, let me tell you more or less what I'm what I'm considering. So first move, of course, it has to do with so much pressure on F2. So I'm thinking, what if I could do, because again, there's a defender. I want to see if I can eliminate it, deflect it, uh, create some interference. So bishop d4 came to mind, pawn takes, pawn takes. And then if the queen goes to d2, for example, I got 94 with a fork and it's very nice that this queen doesn't have any checks so that's that's peace of mind however after bishop d4 pawn takes pawn takes what if they go queen f3 right so i don't i didn't see anything concrete right there so it made me think of another move that it is within this variation but maybe we could just change the move order just put that move first so instead of this variation followed by 94 well what if we do 94 right away now, of course, I'm hitting the bishop, and the moment I, I, I looked at it, it seems like the one, because look, the bishop's been attacked. This is not available to, because of the, the knight and the pawn. Um, taking is not available, and then I defend the knight. Going back is not available because then we take on f1. You see, they're going to be obstructing the rook. So if knight e4, the only move they could do, and this is the, the trickiest part, when you're working on these exercises, guys, try to ask yourself what surprises what moves could my opponent come up with and the thing is same queen f3 but now we could just take on f2 if queen takes we simply take back uh... oh yeah okay so yeah there you go so <laughs> so uh, we could simply take back but then if knight f2 what if the king takes well i guess we just move the queen out of the way we pin the queen okay so th this has to be it so let's do the same thing. Let me just activate the engine. And there we go. 94 is the top move. And they're giving 92. But what if they, I mean, 92, this is uh, easily just getting material. But then what if they go queen f3? We got knight f, oh no, okay. So knight f2, okay, knight f2 is not wrong. It's completely winning like 6.95, but it's not the best move. Best move is just queen g6. So discover on the queen and then we're just going to get material. Not that bad, I'm gonna take credit for this one. <laughs> now, let me take a look at this knight d2. So of course we could take on f2, and then if rook f1, because they're giving knight f3, but we just get out. Um, but these, we have interesting moves like bishop h2 guys, forcing them to take, then fork. So this has to be just way better for us. All right, so let me just then, guys, this is going to be the last one. For this one, we are in charge of the white pieces. All right, so we have Dina, Bell, and Kaya on with the black pieces, but it's white to move. We have to find the best way to uh, take advantage of this possession. We have a very dangerous pawn on h7, knight is centralized, rook and queen. So there has to be something here. Now, let me, <laughs> let me, well, let me actually go here. All right, there we go. So five minutes. And this is the last one. Okay, guys, so just to save you some time, I already looked into uh, two candidate moves like rook f7, knight g6, and they do not work. I, I thought they worked, but they, they don't. So rook f7, knight takes, knight g6, but then not only um, can, they king, uh, can the king take, but even if they don't take, 
this knight is always defending h8, so th there's nothing to it. Now, knight g6 right away, I thought was the move. Pawn takes rook f8, and this is pretty forcing because knight g6, if they don't take, then we're going to promote, right? If they take, then rook f8. Um, if they don't take the pawn, again, I promote. But the problem is that after check and then check, oh, sorry, check, he takes, I thought I had queen h2 followed by queen h8, but I almost missed the fact that the queen is going to be defending h2 because my knight is going to be gone. So this doesn't work. This doesn't work. Okay. So <laughs> just in case. Now, to be honest, I don't see any other candidate move. Like there are no other checks. Of course, we have knight f7 right away, but it doesn't really seem like the move. C3, something like c3, I don't think is the move. I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys. So this one times up. I I, I don't I, I couldn't find it. But you you see, I already spent five minutes calculating, visualizing. Even if it was nonsense. Now I look at the answer and I see what I was missing. Now if I look, let me actually take a look at the book for this one because. Um, so for this one, actually, the move <laughs> the move is actually Queen H two. Now I have to say I considered Queen H two but I didn't see anything concrete, but this seems to be, it seems to be the move. Now, what's wrong? Yeah, no, so queen h2, and then they're saying they have queen e7 or queen d6. If queen e7, then you have ideas like check, followed by queen e5, and you get the rook. If instead they do something like queen d6, then, okay, then rook f7. Okay, so one of the candidate moves comes in now, and after check, king b1, check, we got c4 hitting the queen, blocking the check, and the game is over, guys. We're hitting g6 with mate, rook f8, there's a lot, there's a lot going on. So, there you go, guys. I hope that you found some value in this, uh, in this training. For me, it only means one thing, I need to train more tactics. And just let me know how many, of course, how many you got correct or incorrect, what were you lacking. And also, guys, let me know if maybe we should do this more often and if we should do it live. So with that said, I will see you in our next video.